Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. In this one today, I'm going to show you how to make your Dolphin emulator completely portable for GameCube and Wii. Stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to make Dolphin emulator completely portable. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and it's going to take you to the Dolphin emulator website. We are going to take the very top one. This is the latest release and for Windows. So I'll click it. Once it's downloaded, you're going to have a 7-zip file and I'll link to 7-zip in the description of the video as well. But what you're going to want to do with this file is right click, go to 7-zip, extract here. So we want to make sure we go to extract here, click on that. Once it extracts, it's called dolphin-x64. I always like to just name mine dolphin. So I'm going to rename my folder and just take out the dash x64. Just like that. Now you will need some ROMs and I can't tell you where to get them but if you google they're pretty easy to find on a certain archive the way that I keep my ROMs is I have a ROMs folder and then a GameCube folder with my GameCube games and then I have a Wii folder with my Wii games but I'm gonna drag my ROMs folder into my Dolphin folder I'm gonna open up Dolphin before we run it we want to right click on an empty space new text document and you want to name this portable just like that portable.txt now we're going to run dolphin do I want to send reporting I don't but you can if you want so now we're going to go to config and we're going to go to paths we want to add our game folder. So I'm going to go to add. I'm inside of my dolphin folder. So I'm going to hit my ROMs folder. I'm not going to go inside of it. I'm going to click select folder and no games populated in the background. You have to check this box, search subfolders. And there you go. And what we're going to do is hit close. There's our games. We're going to exit out of dolphin. And we're going to go into our user folder, config, and then dolphin.ini. We're going to right click, edit. So here you can see it sets our path for our games. We don't want it to have this absolute path. So what we do is just have the word ROMs. just like that. I'm going to go to file, save, and close. Now let's go back to our dolphin folder, open dolphin. Our games are still here. So I'm going to go ahead and run a game. There it is. Just to show you GameCube as well, that was a Wii game. Here is a GameCube game. There we go. And then let's make sure we're completely portable. So we're going to close out the, the folder. We're going to drag it into a new folder. This way it's not where we set it up. Pretend like we're dragging it to a new hard drive. So I'm going to go into here, open Dolphin. There's our games. Let's confirm everything is good to go. There we go. And why not? So there you go. Everything is portable now. Dolphin is completely portable. In the past, I've done the portable.txt. Then I realized, wait a minute, my ROMs never show up when I move my Dolphin folder. So this is a way to get around that and you can put it anywhere you want and Dolphin will always be completely portable. I hope this helps everybody. 
Really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.